Hi guys, Alice Taylor down at Lytham Golf Academy today and today we're going to compare the Titleist 718 AP1 and the Ping G400 irons. So both of them kind of big, very forgiving heads, uh, low CG, strong lofts, I'll pop the lofts up on the screen for you, but both of these clubs designed to get the ball in the air hit the ball a good distance and be really, really ultra game improvement irons. But also a little bit of refinement maybe so the, the better player whose ball flight's a little bit on the low side, this might be the model that helps them get the ball up in the air that little bit more as well. So I'm gonna hit five real balls on GC Quad. We're gonna use um, tailor-made TP5s. We're gonna go with the latest club out first. So the AP1. So, you know, looks great behind the ball. And like I said, I'm going to hit five shots, have a look at some numbers, and kind of give you a bit of feedback from my perspective as to which one I prefer out of the two models. So, AP1 first shot. And like with all these style clubs, you know, it feels very kind of hot off the face. <clears throat> There's a limit to how quick they can get the ball going, just dependent on the loft of the club. But, you know, all these seven irons nowadays are kind of stronger than I would have said traditionally. But, they need to have that strength in loft because with the CG being so low, otherwise the ball would just pop up in the air and not really go anywhere. So first couple with AP1, feel really really nice and again good solid strike and it'd be interesting to look at numbers as ever down here it's windy so it's difficult to completely tell from watching the ball flight but first view felt good and for me they just feel very, very easy to hit. And you know, as they're designed for, just very easy to get the ball up in the air. So last one with AP1. And again, just a really good solid one. Didn't seem to go quite as far, but again, we'll look at the numbers on quad. So we're gonna switch over onto the G400. There's been some, some really, really good, strong performances with this. I mean, obviously I deliver the club in my particular way, but certainly in fittings that I've been doing, G400's performed really, really well for a lot of guys. So we move clubs. Again, you know, slightly different finish to the head, but same idea, big chunky top line. And again, hits it very, very high. Didn't look a lot in that for where those are landing and where the AP1s were. Feel-wise, I would probably say the AP1 just feels a little bit softer to me. Again, it's how much it depends for guys on full shots. I think for me, it's not so so much as to how soft the club feels when I'm hitting full shots, it's maybe some of those little knockdown shots, little chips, pitches around the green that I'm playing. That's where I, I personally want that little bit more feel. But again, just seems very, very easy to hit. Okay, good. And the last couple with G400. And I'll be interested, because I do think these are just direct competitors on kind of the market they're going for. Maybe slightly different price point, but certainly the type of golfer that these two models are aimed at, very much the same guy. And again, maybe felt I didn't quite get that one. Still solid, but maybe just not quite as good a strike. One final one. Very similar to the previous one. 
So, I mean, all in all, I thought five good solid ones with AP1, three really good solid ones with G400, and maybe just the last couple weren't poor strikes by any means, but maybe just didn't feel quite as good off the face. So let's look at the numbers and see how the two models compare to each other. Okay, guys, so we look at ball speed. So we've got 120 as the average with AP1, 121 with G400, but certainly the first three with G400 a little bit quicker. And like I said, last couple with G400 didn't feel quite as good and ball speed dropped off a touch. Launch angle almost identical, so I'm turning them into pretty much the same club at impact. Uh, a little bit more backspin with the AP1. Kind of more, again, modern seven irons were saying six to seven thousand. So round about where we want AP1, a little bit low on G400. Both hitting it very, very high, 34 and 35 yard peak height. And G400 edging out 171 over 169. Right then guys, so when we look at the numbers there, I think really, really hard. And if we didn't know which club was which, you know, you'd almost say they're doing a very, very similar job. Um, G400 hitting it a little bit further, and certainly on the good ones, I can a little bit more, but for me, it's getting it there by having a little bit less spin. So as good as that extra distance might be, I'm in quite a good position that naturally I hit the ball a decent height. I think the guys who, even though the total height wasn't much different between the clubs, I think the guy who's needing to stop it on the green would probably benefit a little bit more from AP1 than they would G400. So because there was such a small difference in distance, for me out of those two, I would probably go for the Titleist AP1. Now, like I said, th there's a slight difference in price and depending where you're watching in the world, you know, you'll need to decide if you were between these two, whether that price difference justifies it. But for me personally, if you get your irons fitted properly, you're not going to need to change for a good period of time, unless the way you deliver the club changes massively and you've spent a huge amount of time working on your game. So for me personally, I, out of these two models, I would have gone for the Titleist AP1s. Okay guys, so hope you've enjoyed the video. If you have, like and share it. Comment below as always and I'll try and get back to you. Subscribe to my channel if you don't already. Hopefully catch up with some of you guys down here in the future. Stay in contact.